In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this shape using an awesome technique, which is called triangle grid. Let's get started. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a triangle grid and from that triangle grid to create your own custom logo. So to start off, I'm going to change the tool I'm using to the shape tool. And in the selection, I'm going to choose polygon tool. Now, if I draw a polygon, that's not what I want. I want a triangle. So to make less points in our shape, I'm just going to click on the artboard once. And over here, we can decide and determine how many sides we want for our shape. I'm going to change it to three and click OK. And as you can see, now we have a triangle. I'm going to make it smaller and move it to the left. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that in view, I'm on snap to point. And if you're on snap to pixel and snap to grid, please turn those off you're going to want a checkbox only next to snap to point. Perfect. Select the tool using the select. With my triangle selected, I'm going to click Alt on the keyboard and I'm going to drag the shape to the right side until I see intersect, which means they're perfectly intersecting with each other. To duplicate what I've just done, I'm going to click Command D, Command or Control D, depending if you're using Mac or Windows. And perfect. We want to go all the way. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this whole row. To do that, I'm going to select the whole row of triangles and hit Alt again and drag these down. Perfect. We've dragged them down but we need to move them a bit to the right. What we want is that for this point to meet these two intersecting points. So I'm going to select the whole row and I'm just going to move it while holding shift. And I'm going to wait until I see intersect again. And I'm going to leave that right there. Perfect. So here's our beginning of the triangle grid. Next thing I'm going to do is select the two of these rows and hit Alt again and duplicate again until I see intersect. Perfect. So now we have four rows of triangles to duplicate the last action that we've just done. Again, I'm going to hit Command or Control D. Perfect. And do this all the way down. Now we have a triangle grid that we can use. The tool that I'm going to use to make my logo is Shape Builder Tool, which is a really common tool. I'm going to hit Command A, or Command or Control A, to select the whole artboard. Perfect. Now everything is selected. To use the Shape Builder Tool, you first need to choose the layers that you want it to work on. So I want it to work on all of them. So I've done command A on all of my artboard and everything is selected. And now I can choose the shape builder tool. This is how it looks like. I'm going to click on it. And now look how cool this is. Now I can draw my shape using this predetermined grid that I've created. So let's start. What I want to do is make the letter A. So here we go. Here's a sort of a triangle shape. I'm going to move to the left and look how awesome this is when you have a grid. Now you can decide if you want maybe to close this shape inside. Maybe you want it to look like this. Maybe you want to leave it open. You can make different types of letters maybe. But that was the basics of how to create a triangle grid and using the shape builder tool to create your shape. Now over here, here's my shape. I want to take it out of the grid. So I'm just going to move it to the right over here. We can give it a color. Let's just give it color. Look how cool that is. And now I want to delete the rest of the triangles that I have on my artboard. So to do that, I'm just going to select one of them. 
Then I'm going to click Select, Same, and we can say Fill and Stroke, for example, and it will select all the shapes with the same fill and stroke. Since the shape over here is blue, it hasn't selected it. So now all of our triangles are selected. I'm going to delete them. And here we go. This is our shape. This is our logo. And now we can use it to do anything we want. We can add some wording and typography to it. I hope this tutorial was helpful. Please subscribe to our new YouTube channel, which is Design Hackers. I help designers earn more in less time. You don't need to work so hard to earn a respectful amount of money. See you next time.